So this painting, Adam and Eve Expelled from Paradise, dates to 1887. So at this point, Ensor is 27 years old. It is one of his greatest uh, and largest and most ambitious canvases and has this dynamic uh, scene that you can see unfolding before us. If you look in the foreground, you have this kind of very murky uh, northern Flemish landscape. Obviously, we're all close to the sea here and you can just make out Adam and Eve dashing across, running. It looks like they're running for their lives across this landscape as up in the clouds and this burst of brilliant light, this kind of Turner-esque sky that we're seeing. The hand of God is pointing, expelling them from paradise. There's a great deal of speculation about James Ensor and Turner, and it's not at all certain that um, he saw these pictures in the flesh. There is some speculation that he came to London to look at Turner's work. Um, and of course, Turner had been in Ostend earlier, much earlier before Ensor was born. But there is clearly some link here. I think you can see that in the dynamism of the sky and also the fact that the sky is so dominant within the painting itself. The landscape is actually almost secondary and the figures of Adam and Eve, uh, the main protagonists of the painting are actually the least evident within the picture itself. So as Ensor was growing up, he, uh, his room was basically an attic room in his parents' home. And at that time, he had an uninterrupted view of the sea from uh, the windows of the attic. Um, and there's a very dramatic sky over the North Sea. This is just where the North Sea and the Channel meet. There's a lot of uh, wind uh, and there's a lot of changing weather patterns. So you get this very dramatic squalling clouds, big uh, thunder clouds, and fast moving clouds as well. So the, the sky is a very dominant feature. Um, and it's something that he works with a lot, certainly in his early career, is trying to capture the essence of this kind of Northern European, uh, it's not quite a bleakness, but there is something um, slightly kind of challenging, I suppose, about that environment and the weather patterns that came with it.